Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers, and in this video, I'm just going to be doing a short video on the differences between the flat and the bright and showing you how to use them. So, the first thing that you notice is obviously the flat is a lot longer than the bright brush, and I'm just going to kind of start showing you some techniques and things you can use with the flat. So, you can they're both very similar, just the differences are um, because the bright has shorter bristles, it's going to be a lot uh, more controlled, you can control it a lot better, and the flat would be, it's not, you know, going to have as much control, so it'll be more loose. So if you do like a lot of impressionist uh, style painting, then you might want to use the flat because you wouldn't need as much control. So you can do lines, um, blending. You could even, um, if you kind of tap, you can kind of make texture with it. So obviously you wouldn't make uh, grass with glue, but you know if you had green or something you could kind of make grass with it So there's a lot of different things you can do and just Filling in just a lot of color quickly. You can do that, too so Now I'm gonna use the bright and show you with it So I'm just gonna do pretty much the same thing that I do with the flat, but it may, if you're used to one and not the other, then if you go to switch to the other, it may be a little hard to switch. I used, used a big flat when I first started, and then when I switched to a bright, I kind of had a hard time at first, but then I got used to it. Um, but you can do really a lot with it, and I use mine a lot um, for doing like the sky and things in my paintings. So you can do a lot of different things with it. And you may even kind of be able to get some like dot, dots if you use the corner. You could get kind of dots, but they're more like triangles, so you may not want to use that for that, but if you ever have a need for that shape, then that would be good for that. So now I'm going to uh, show you a clip from my ocean tutorial on how I use the bright for the sky. It'll just kind of disappear in your paint and it won't, you won't have to cover up the lines. So I'm going to start by taking some of my titanium white and just a little bit of the phthalo blue and just don't add too much too quick because the phthalo blue really really tints it so you don't want to get too much in there okay and make sure to add water so that it'll flow better and I'm just going to kind of go right up against that horizon line. I'm not going to go all the way across because it kind of starts getting darker as you go across. I'm not going to worry if it gets, you know, a little wavy because when we go do the water, we can straighten it out. But I'm going to get it pretty close. Okay, and then I'm going to get some more of that phthalo blue. And get some water with it. So I'm just slowly working up to a darker color. And now I'm going to get a little bit of ultramarine blue. But I want to save this blue right there. And I'm just going to finish going across here 
pretty, it's kind of dark on this side. Um, the sky is a little darker on this side. And I'm just going to kind of blend them together. So it's just going to slowly turn into this kind of purpley blue. Okay, and then I'm going to get some more of my phthalo blue with the just the phthalo blue and white. And go at the top and kind of blend that in. Okay, and then I'm going to get the ultramarine blue and add it to that. So that it's a little more purple. And see, I might make it a little lighter over here, just at this first part. And you want to kind of go quickly or as fast as you can so that. The, blue, the other blues don't dry out before you get to blend with them. Okay, and then I'm going to get this really dark right up for the top. So the top is going to be darkest and then it's going to kind of slowly get lighter. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And in a minute, the uh, tutorial that I just showed should be popping up. So if you want to see the full tutorial, you can do that. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching. Bye.